Welcome to our final installment of Origami Wii. <laughs> our final project today is a special one. I am going to do one of my new favorite Star Wars characters. This Star Wars character has become one of my new favorites, and we just learned about him just this year. It is Baby Yoda. We're going to get us a Baby Yoda made today. So let's see how we're going to do this. But the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a special size piece of paper. That was the only thing I couldn't figure out is you need a special size piece of paper. So I've got this piece of paper. It is five inches on the top across and it is seven inches long. Okay, nice and easy. If you need somebody to help you out with that, have mom or dad help you cut that piece of paper nice and small. Or you can do it the uh, tearing style that Mr. P did the uh, crane project yesterday. So, after I have that piece of paper, I am ready to start my Yoda. So let's go to the table. Now I have my rectangle piece of paper right here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of measure, oh, I don't know, about an inch, maybe two fingers, I think is a good spot. Now I have big fat fingers. You might need three fingers. You might have to check it out, but about an inch tall. And we're just gonna fold that down. All right, once we get that step done, now it's time to go to the sides and start working on the sides a little bit. So I'm gonna do two squash folds today. Now these two squash folds are gonna be pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna fold it down here. And then I'm gonna fold it back up. Same on the other side. Let's take that, fold that down down real good get a nice crease open it up and here comes the squash fold we got these two corners right here that we're going to lift up we're going to push those guys in and we're going to hide those guys down there so now you actually should have something that kind of looks like this once you're finished okay the next step is to flip it over and we're gonna take same thing, about two fingers up from the bottom. Fold that real nice. Now the next fold, this is going to be called an accordion fold. So this is a little bit different where we're gonna flip it and then we're gonna fold it again. So we flip the first one up. And now we're gonna flip this piece down and we're only gonna fold a little bit from the bottom. We're gonna leave a little bit up there and we're gonna fold it down so it should look kind of like you got a little zigzag right there you see that little zigzag now we got that zigzag once we get that zigzag in we are on our way and just about halfway done with our baby Yoda so I'm gonna flip it over now I'm on the front here again take this piece I'm gonna fold it almost all the way up to the top here. I'm gonna leave a little bit poking out on the top, right there. Then we're gonna do another accordion fold. So we folded it up, now we gotta fold it back this way. So we're gonna fold it back this way, but I'm just gonna fold it down to about right at the end of where this top trapezoid here starts. So I fold it down like this. Okay, so that looks pretty good now. Time to flip it. And now we're going to do these sides right here. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to lift up this piece of paper, and I'm going to leave these triangles right here. I'm going to leave them there. And I'm going to kind of fold it in at an angle. So it folds down a little bit. A little big piece is going to stick down here at the bottom. That's okay. Let's do the other side too. I'm going to fold at a little bit of an angle and down. So now we're getting pretty close to the end here. We're going to do some work on these ears. 
another accordion fold of back. To, and then we're gonna kind of curve it up. See what I'm doing here? I'm gonna curve this up a little bit so I got nice straight on top ears. Because you'll start to see this guy start coming together. So a little fold just like that. Let's do the other side. We'll fold in and up. So I'm gonna leave the bottom of that fold real close to the edge right there. And the very last step is I'm gonna take this little spot between the ear and the head. I like my head to be a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna fold this over right here. Now, if we flip it over, check that out. We're starting our nice little Yoda here. My ear's a little off over here, I think. I need to pull it out a little more. Ah, oh, that's better. Now we got a baby Yoda here. Let's go back to the table and let's draw some eyes in on here and really get our Yoda going. Now our Yoda's got some like, I call them almond shaped eyes, nice alien shaped eyes. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna curve and almost make like a sideways teardrop. You see that? I'll lay that in. Let's do another one on this side. Try to make it the same size. It's always hard to get it the exact same size and shape when you do eyes like this. But that's pretty good. Little U for the nose. And I like my Yoda to have kind of a little curvy face like that. And if you want to, go in here and make some little ear triangles in here. And you can do that too. You could even full color this thing. But there's my little baby Yoda. He's adorable, isn't he? So, I hope you guys enjoyed Origami Week as much as I did. I really had fun with Origami Week. So until Monday, may the force be with you.